Hello folks, Gary GSF out on uh, NC750, the DCT, out on a charity run from the Irish Wheel Farms, based in Belfast, uh, it's a poker run. Um, so I'm just going to take this opportunity to give you a, a short review of um, the, the DCT uh, 750. Um, the last 9 out of 1000 miles, so I have uh, managed to say a few things, good and bad about it, but uh, I'll run through that as, as we go along. Not a bad turnout, there's, there's, apparently there's, uh, there's uh, three different charity runs in Northern Ireland today, uh, this being one of them. Um, just our, our club uh, has a bit of a, a friendship going with us, the club is run at the Irish Wheel Founds and uh, this, um, this should be a good day out. Uh, food and all at the end and uh, it definitely should be a good job. No shortage of marshals, very good. Um, always helps. That's us uh, on our way. Um, well, the DCT, uh, I bought it, I think about three months ago, two or three months ago, and uh, I use it for everything up and down the work, up and down the shops, and it's just generally a utilitarian bike. It's, uh, it's got a great job. Um, now, as if anyone that uh, knows me knows that uh, I've had a couple of NC 700s and absolutely loved them. Both of them manual. Uh, but this time uh, I went for the DCT and the 750. Now, what prompted me to do that was I had a, a ride on the Honda XADV scooter, uh, adventure scooter type thing. And um, the, the the, the engine and gearbox is exactly the same as this, and I, I just, uh, I, I loved it, I loved the, the, the bar delivery on, but uh, at nine and a half grand it was just too much to be uh, shelling out on. Um, just definitely too much, it was just, it's been pitched in too high the, at the, the, um, the, the pricing on it. But uh, it let, let me think about the, the, the NC750, well there's the, the two different versions, there's the S which I ended up buying, which is the, the road based one, uh, and then there is the X, which is like an adventure type one, uh, the road one's pretty, just totally naked. Um, so, after riding them, uh, I rode the, 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 the X for a few days and I um, found it uncomfortable. Uh, now I know that the same seat, the same chassis, uh, only with taller suspension uh, and a screen. Uh, but I find it, the seat very uncomfortable on it. Now, um, the bars are higher than what they are in this, so I, I'm assuming that's what, what the, put more weight on the, your, your tailbone. Um, I think it, that, that was the, the big issue with it. Um, but when I rode this, and it was actually a more plush seat than what was on the 700, so um, it was uh, definitely it was, it was a no-brainer, and there was a few hundred quid difference in that. Uh, so I plumped for this. Now, after having the 700s and absolutely loving the, the 700s, uh, not a lot of go in them. Um, but uh, so for a utilitarian bike that you're using up and down to work and you know up and down to the shops and with all the storage on it, um, it, it, it was great. Uh, I, I had no, no issues uh, jumping on this and the seat was certainly more comfortable. Uh, now there's uh, three different ride modes plus a manual mode on this DCT. You have the um, three different sport modes and you have a normal drive mode. Now the normal drive mode is good for every day. Uh, I, I only ever use the, the, the top sport mode. Um, it, it, uh, although it's only 54 horsepower this bike, it's uh, it's quite ample, you know, it, it is uh, enjoyable. Plenty of, plenty of to be enjoyed um, and uh, it really is good. Much, much more than the 700. Uh, I think it's only you know, six horsepower, five or six horsepower in it. 
but uh, it is a whole load better. There is a, a heap more thing, a heap more, more power on. But on saying that, where the 700 of fueling was glitch free, it was absolutely lovely. There was, a, there was no, the smoothest of the fuel injection was absolutely brilliant. In this, you do have flat spots. Um, the, the, uh, if you're at lower revs and you start to give it to it, it can bog down a bit, uh, it can go flat. Uh, well, dead easy sorted. Uh, uh, you, you can, even when you're in a manual mode, you can hit the, the, the bottom uh, gear lever switch and it, it'll drop a gear and you know, bring you up again. But it is it is there. Uh, it's easy ridden round. Um, but uh, definitely that, that's one thing, one thing downside of the 750 over the 700. Um, but it, it, it is minor, and it's, it, it, it's, it's not all the time. Uh, handling wise, exactly the same as the 700. It, it's, uh, they're sure, sure-footed handling. At times you can feel it is slightly budget suspension. You know, you, you, you can feel sometimes it crashing in the in the smaller bumps at lower speeds. Uh, but at higher speeds, it's, it's dead stable. Handles well. Um, say not sports bike handling, but uh, certainly. Um, it's sure fit enough. Uh, fuel consumption now at the minute because I've been sitting on the motorway uh, on the way down here, sitting at 80, 85 mile an hour ish. <laughs> um, it's showing 65 mile a gallon. Yeah, that's pretty good, of course. But uh, if I get a few A roads uh, and uh, the, the it goes up and up and up and up and up. Um, uh, when I was running it in. Uh, the, the best I had out of it was 79 points some was the gallon. It was over, just touching on 80 miles of the gallon, which was absolutely fabulous, you know. Um, since I had it run in, and I, 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 I do give it to it a bit, you know. Um, it, uh, it has come down a bit, but still a regular 70, 75 miles of the gallon. Uh, should, on this run today, should, should re- come up to over 70, 70 miles of the gallon, well over it. Um, these charity runs tend not to be absolute flan. Uh, they seem to be, you know, quite quite uh, well behaved. Now, and one one of the other things that I, I find a bit iffy, um, it has um, one of those inverse LCD dashes. Now, the LCD. But what that is, is the main background is black, and the figures then uh, go, go white. Um, and that's the same as what's in my Africa Twin. Now, this, this says better. Uh, but I find on bright days, you know, where you're using dark visors and all, you can certainly see the speed okay, but all the other bits and pieces, uh, you find difficult to see. So, um, but it's, it's one thing that I'm not overly fond of. Um, uh, uh, it is very pretty, and especially at night. At night, uh, the, the rev counter changes colour, and you know, with different revs. And it, it, it really, it's quite pretty. And it's got lots of information. It's got all your, all your different trips, and it's got your date and time. And it's, um, it is quite comprehensive for such a small dash. But uh, I'll say a little bit difficult to see the smaller numbers uh, when you're. Uh, when you're like on bright days where you're wearing dark visors and uh, you're focused on on the sun, you know, where you're, uh, you look down and you just really can't see some of the smaller smaller items. But uh, so again, minor because you can see the speed perfect. But uh, I do prefer the other type of LCD where it's like a clear white, uh, yellowy white color, and uh, the, the figures are black. Um, Apart from that, the DCT gearbox, um, it, it, it's fine. Uh, the, the, the gear changes are really smooth. Um, it's just almost like riding a scooter. Uh, and your manual controls are, are very, very easy. You've got uh, an automatic and manual switch on the, the right-hand bar, and you've got your paddles up and down on your left-hand bar, uh, all within easy reach. So. Uh, the, that that's really no issue, uh, and I say I'm a bit of a fan of DCT. Um, first one I had was a VFR 1200, um, the 170 horsepower bike, and 
it was too fast for DCT, but this just lends itself to it. I might even say the Africa Twin, uh, if I had a DCT, might be just a wee bit too fast for it. But say it lends itself to this this small scooter type bike. Um, acceleration, as I say, we're all starting to accelerate reasonably swiftly. Uh, and it's a, it, 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 it keeps up alright. Um, at the high revs, it's, it's absolutely lovely. On saying that high revs, the top revs is six and a half thousand. Uh, so that's that's it coming from it was as basis from half the Honda Jazz car engine. But um, when you're riding a manual version of one of these, it's quite easy to hit the rev limiter. Uh, you know, you're you're still expecting more more revs on. It. Uh, but the DCT when it's working it, working on it itself, it'll take you up to the red line and change and you know you never never look at the rev can, rev limiter. So uh, um, wind protection absolutely none from standard. Um, you, know, you definitely you get, get any man now and you start to feel it. And I've changed the, the screen on it and I'm not sure if you can see that or not. There's a little black screen on it. It was bought from China, would you believe? It came from there and it cost me fifteen pounds. Um, it's, it's absolutely fabulous. It takes a whole load of the wind blast off you. Okay, you're still exposed, but uh, you know, you're at 90, 100 mile an hour, uh, if you were to do it, uh, it is actually uh, takes a lot of the wind blast off you and uh, really makes it makes for a more comfortable, comfortable experience. And it sort of needs it with just a little fly screen that comes on. There's absolutely no protection at all. So there you go. That's. Uh, the NC750, um, a fair step up from the 700, uh, and I'll say that the, the two different ones I had loved. Um, this is just an extension to the same. Uh, only little downside is the is the um, the, the, the slightly flat fuel uh, fuel and all at, at times. I'll say at the moment there it's like gear at two two and a half thousand revs. It's uh, it's feeling a bit flat. But uh, I'll say get over that, it, it feels great. But uh, I'll say that I can certainly forgive it that because I, I can manually drop another cog and it will go. So there you go. Hopefully that gives you a bit of information on the NC750, uh, the, the DCT. Um, so it's something, something that I absolutely love uh, and it's, it's the, the best thing for running up and down to work and up and down to, to all sorts of things. You know, it's, it's, it's just the best commuter bike there is in the road, in my, in my point of view of course, uh, uh, that's that's an arguable point and I welcome any comments, uh, I answer pretty much everyone that that, uh, that, that uh, leaves a comment and uh, I'll say welcome to them all, but uh, thanks for watching and uh, ride safe everyone, adios.